How much health does a mission actually have? Now that's potentially worded a little bit strangely. What I mean by this is when you go through a mission, how much of your damage was effective to armor and how much of your damage is effective to health? This can seem a pretty simple question. However, when you factor in that literally every enemy in the game has a health bar, but not every enemy has armor, we can run into some complications. This has actually been a conversation in one of my videos lately in the comments and apparently someone found that it was roughly 50 50 and my response is that is laughably laughably incorrect so if we go to the range put a round in a target you'll see damage of last hit 2 million eight hundred twenty seven thousand and thirty two that is the health of the average target within the game there are some flaws of this which i'll go over in a minute now what we do is we multiply that health with the amount of enemies killed in a mission that will give us our total health damage we then divide our total health damage to the stat at the end mission screen which is total team damage to give us the actual percentage of damage that we will do to health targets now there are some huge and i do mean huge flaws with this as we have discussed many times each enemy faction has variations in its overall health as well as armor as do the actual enemy types within that faction rousey has been busy all weekend he even made a separate character deleted over one of his old characters just so that he could help test this he has made a zero percent crit chance and zero percent headshot build so basically every single damage number he does will be the same obviously weapons have their own intrinsic headshot values so it can't always be 100 percent accurate but he just doesn't aim for the head it's kind of really that simple he has found that things like rushers and snipers have between 70 and 80 percent of their advertised health as well as obviously having a lot less armor we use this as a small spectrum however it's not also going to be the largest thing that we can calculate because otherwise we have to literally go through and not only count up every single red purple and delete we also need to count up every single sniper every single rusher every single assault every single grenadier they all have different health values and they all have different armor values and without knowing exactly how much each and every single one has it can lead to a problem then there is the issue of chungas see chungas are pure health damage so whenever the attacking one you will be doing direct health damage the problem is as i'm trying to demonstrate now is one of those plates can take forever to destroy and if you're going to do a single plate and you have the accuracy and capability to do this it really doesn't take quite that much however i'm using a very poor weapon here it's gonna take a minute now we can sit here and add up all of the damage and factor this in as well as the fact that sometimes you are going to miss so you're going to be spreading your damage across multiple plates etc 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 it can be annoying so we can either factor all of that in or we can just destroy the weak point and away we go now you might notice if i slow this down hitting the weak point directly i get zero damage numbers it's only after it explodes do i get damage numbers which means from here on out as long as I'm hitting around the backpack and chest area, I'm doing straight health damage to his actual health bar. I'm not wasting any extra damage. My point is, how do we want to equate damage to chungus? Then there's environmentals. Now, the main one that we found that this is prominent in is going to be Roosevelt Island, non-legendary. Those three very large red tankers that we have to destroy, there's one about halfway through that's pretty easy. That counts as health damage. That damage is equated in your end game stats, and that also counts as a kill for an enemy. Don't bloody ask. I don't know. And then at the end, when you're meant to be destroying the boat, there's two of them that are pretty, pretty, pun intended, tanky, because they're oil tanks. These also are pure health damage and also count as a kill, which is bizarre. So in the end stats, that is all equated and they have a lot more health than the actual 
health of typical enemies. A lot more. So I will be sticking with the equation that I showed earlier on, just because, okay, yes, there are a bunch of variables. However, if we add in all of those variables, we're not going to get an answer, simply just because RNG is a thing. The overall effect of how you play is a thing, i.e. are you going to destroy all of the Chunga's plates? Are you going to destroy one Chunga plate and then kill it? Are you efficient at just getting one plate? We're going to straight for a weak point. Also, every Chunga has a magical spot on them somewhere where you can just shoot straight through and one-shot them, which is weird. People are going to play different, so the best thing I can really do is give you a very, very averaged average like quite literally which i don't like doing but to just dispute this as a whole because it is complete nonsense of them having 50 50 we're just gonna get straight into it so up first is phoenix's run of camp white oak 91 enemies it's put in the bold and then under phoenix you'll see 2827032 so that times 91 equals 257 million 256,912 divided by his total damage of 550 million we get 46.77 percent that means 46.77 percent of his damage was direct to health or hitting health black tusk are the health heaviest faction in the game chungas mini tanks warhounds all of these are health Lincoln Memorial, the run you can see in the background footage, 40.45% was health. These are my actual stats, they do show again at the end of the video. There is an element of RNG here, however, I ran it 20 times, that was the highest I got. The problem child, Roosevelt, 53.78%. However, without knowing the exact health value of those very three large barrels, which are counted, we can't exactly subtract them to take them out because at that point i am just bloody guessing but it's probably worthwhile to mention that i'm not sure their exact percentage but we could probably remove about five percent from that just to equate those three damn large barrels so from here some of you are probably just going well we've had like 40 and we've had up to 50 maybe the 50 50 split isn't too far out of the question however in the original video where this person stated 50 50 there's one very fucking large area where they refused to test four man grand washington hotel coming in at 34.21 percent yeah apparently group scaling makes a huge huge difference who would have thought it now we're gonna look at lincoln in four man 31.56 percent yeah I mean, that's a direct comparison there. We just looked at Lincoln. Back to the problem child. Roosevelt Island, four man, 32.94%. Yeah, it's 50-50, guys. Absolutely 50-50. Now we get into the problem of ratios. See, with this little thing here, we're going to look at it on the bottom where it says legendary. Legendary normal has 5.37 million health. When we get to purple, they still have 5.37 million health, but they've also got 9.43 million armor. Then we're going to run on to elite. Still got 5.37 million health, 19.83 million armor. And you're worried about a mission being 50-50 health. Like, most players can deal with 5.37 million health on four-man legendary scaling. It's that 19 million armor that's going to get you, though. Now ask me why we care so much about damage to armor and damage to targets out of cover, but not so much damage to health. Right, takeaway points. The notion that missions are 50-50 armor to health is laughably, laughably incorrect. What ratio is it? Haven't got a clue. Is it worth finding out? Absolutely fucking not. But it isn't 50-50. It's not even arguably close because it has to be worked as a mostly capable ratio. So yeah, it's not 50-50 in the slightest. Like I said, again and again, this is laughably, laughably incorrect. Have fun, good luck, don't die. It's bad for the health.